There's no doubt that you can lose weight rapidly following a ketogenic diet. We've been proving that for the past 29 weeks as we've been following Dr. Keith's uh, weight loss in, right in front of you. He is now at his last 10 pounds to lose. In this video, we're going to show you how we're going to tweak his strategy to make sure those last 10 pounds come off. Hi, I'm Dr. Becky. I'm a college instructor of the Science of Nutrition. And I'm Dr. Keith. I'm a chiropractor in private practice for the past 26 years. And you're watching Two Fit Docs, where we're, we turn weight loss resistance into weight loss results. And we do that using our, our uh, human guinea pig here. And uh, if you've been watching uh, along with us, you know that we always give a weekly progress report of how much weight you've lost and how much in total. So go ahead. So this past week, I've lost 0.4 pounds. Mm -hmm. A little, little bit okay. less than I would like, but it's okay. It's still progress. It's still moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And in total, I've lost 62.6 pounds. Right. Right. So, so that's, that's great. And even 0.4 pounds, almost a half of, of a pound, is, is still solid progress. But you're right. It, it is less than what you typically lose in, in a week. So that's what really prompted us to uh, shoot this video because we started thinking, well, maybe we need to just uh, sure up our strategy here a little bit. So two things that we're going to talk about um, are real quickly just the mindset of, of the whole thing and, and also how we might want to throw um, Keith's body a, a few curveballs so that it doesn't um, just become overly efficient and, 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 and stops burning fat, stops needing all that fuel. So let me start with mindset and then I'll throw, I'll okay. throw the curveball to you. Right? All right. <laughs> um, so a couple of weeks ago, Keith said to me, um, just out, off, out of the blue, I wonder if the last 10 pounds are going to be harder to lose. And um, you know, to me it was kind of like one of those moments of, that's probably not a good way to be thinking. You know, I think there's this mindset out there that the last 10 pounds has to be hard to get off. You know, maybe you can have some success, but all oh, that last 10 pounds is, is not going to come off. Um, and so I, I just, um, you know, we just talked about kind of being aware of, of the way we think about, about this. Your progress has been amazing over these past, what, seven and, and seven or more months. Mm -hmm. um, so we have to make sure that we don't lose that same mindset as we go forward. And, and really, we don't have any tricks for you on, on that. It's just really being aware that your mindset does play into your, to your success. Um, beyond uh, being aware of your mindset, then uh, another thing that we're looking at is throwing your body a couple of curveballs. So why don't you explain why, we, why we're looking at doing that? Well, so last week was uh, week 28. So, and every four weeks I do my body weight. I also do my body fat um, my body composition measurements. So last week I had had a pretty good loss, um, but my body fat measurements actually showed that my body fat had remained the same, um, which means I'm not burning as much fat. And my lean mass was actually down a little right. bit. Um, and that, obviously I think that most of that is probably due to water. Mm -hmm. Water is the biggest variable in lean body mass, mm -hmm. um, which counts for its, its bone, blood, muscle, tendons, Anything that's not fat counts in there. Mm -hmm. And water, your water level can go up and down yeah, if you're a little dehydrated. Um, but it, it did make me think that, uh, you know, I've, I've become very comfortable with a lot of the diet strategies I've been using, especially intermittent fasting, mm -hmm. and sometimes my calories um, are pretty low. So we decided to kind of do something that just is totally opposite of what you would think you need to do and decided to raise my calories. Mm -hmm. So I figured that I could uh, throw my body a curveball right. by raising my calories above my threshold, about 20% for two days, maybe three days, um, and kind of dropping it back, having a day that's low, kind of coming back to that mm -hmm. point. Um, so that's what I did over the past week. And uh, so this morning, I, I don't typically do my body fat every day, but I did it today because it's been a week um, and found out that I lost 0.4 pounds, but... My, my body fat went down two pounds, my lean mass went up two pounds. So mm -hmm. that's the kind of thing that I think I need to focus on these last 10 pounds, is making sure that what I'm burning off mm -hmm. is primarily fat and I'm not sacrificing any lean, lean tissue. Right. So. Yeah, and, and so that's, that's a, you know, a couple of things there. Um, 
that's why we shouldn't just rely on the scale. We should know, we should be checking what is our body fat percentage and then figuring out then how much right. lean we, we have. Um, but, um, you know, that, that I, I, I lost my train of thought, but that was... Well, so it, we talk about the efficiency. Yeah. So mm. your body becomes, so my body's become efficient at handling how I eat and mm -hmm. everything over the last seven months. Yeah. And, and you want efficiency in your car because you don't want it to burn as much fuel. But you do not want that in your body. You mm -hmm. want, if you're dieting, you want to burn as much fuel as possible. So you want a very inefficient engine. Mm -hmm. And that's why you change things up. You don't let your body get used to it. Your, your body adapts yeah. pretty easily. Yeah. So we figure that by just, just this one thing of just uh, altering my caloric intake from day to day to day, from, mm -hmm. from high to low to mm -hmm. medium, um, you know, should help. It's kind of the same thing with exercise. They talk about mm -hmm. changing routines because your body gets very right. efficient at doing the same thing all the time. Right, right. So uh, you're going to follow that through this week as well, that, that yes. plan? And so, so um, just to give the, the real understanding, so a, a few of the days this coming week, you're going to raise your uh, calories up a couple of hundred uh, above your threshold. So right. what, what is your take, threshold? My threshold is 1,700 to maintain my lean mass. Okay. Um, and that was my lean mass, you know, calculating back, you know, several months ago, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so raising it 20% above, that means that I'm, I'm getting 20%. about 2,100 calories. Um, okay. And then I'll bring it back down to that level, drop a little bit low, bring it back. I mean, yeah. just kind of vary it every day. Yeah. All right, so, so we'll, uh, we'll follow you along, and we'll be back next week to let you know how, how that's working for us. Um, hope that gives you some ideas if you're at your last 10 pounds to lose. Um, if you are just starting and you have more weight to lose or you, you know, um, just need to, to start speeding things up for yourself, then we have put together a starter kit that shows you the foods that uh, Keith added to his diet and those that he took away so that he could get his body into this fat burning groove, so to speak. Uh, and we'll leave some links here on the video for you. Right, and please subscribe to our channel if you want to kind of keep up with us and keep up with my progress, see what, see what happens next week. Yep. Who knows, we right? Don't, we don't know. All right. We don't know. All right, so we'll see you next time. There's no doubt that you can lose weight rapid. You looked right at me when I started talking and threw me off. <laughs> Don't look at me. Two things I want to talk about today are um, mindset and um, how we how we can. Um, you know, oh, I've lost it. I've totally lost it. Can we start over? From the top. There's no. There's no.